Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and I thought we'd go over Android Wear for iPhone. For those of you that want a smartwatch, but don't want to spend the money on something as expensive as the Apple Watch, I thought we could take a look at Android Wear. Now, the Apple Watch starts at $350 and goes up to $17,000 or so. This can be had, this is the Moto 360 and can be had for about $150 to $175, and you also get a choice. So not only do you have this option, you have a bunch of others. And up until now, you couldn't use this with an iPhone. You could only use it with an Android phone. But today, Google released Android Wear for iPhone. So let's go ahead and set it up and take a look at the features. So here's Android Wear. We'll open it up. You can see I've got the Moto 360 ready to go and reset. So let's go ahead and hit next. Pair with the watch. We'll select our language. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Select the language. It says connect your watch to a power source. So let me do that. I went and got the dock that comes with the Moto 360 and plugged it in and put this on. And so you can see here, it says you're ready, swipe to continue. Let's start by pairing with your phone. So we'll do this, swipe again. It says on your phone, download the Android Wear app. I downloaded the app and you can see it says pair and it sees the actual watch. So let's tap on that and we'll swipe again. And it says in the app, tap this code or put in this code. So we'll see 174366. We'll hit pair, and that should pair both of the devices. They're both updating, and we'll wait for it. Now, this normally takes this long while you're on an Android device or whatever. It just takes a while to do the initial pairing, but once you're past that, it's pretty good. So we'll wait for this to pair, and then we'll take a look at it. The watch is paired, and it gave me this little video. Let's go ahead and skip this, and we'll say finish setting up your watch. So we'll hit continue. So I just had to sign in and accept that I wanted to use Google now. So I do want to use that and I want to turn on watch notifications as well. So we'll enable that it wants me to enable it for the iPhone, turn on location. We'll allow that as well. Access your calendar. Now, obviously you can say no thanks on all of these. It looks like, so we'll hit okay. And it says jump into action with watch apps. So we've got all these different watch apps and this is real familiar. If you've seen it on Android in the settings, it has the familiar always on screen. So if you want that on, it will greatly reduce the battery life, but you can use it tilt to wake card previews, calendar cards, email cards, blocked app notifications, voice search, safe search, feedback, help and about under voice search, we can select languages. We've got all these different languages, which is nice. It recognizes. We've also got safe search where we can do smart or strict, depending on what you want. And maybe this is for a child. So you might want it on strict and you have email cards, rich Gmail cards. I'm going to turn that on. We'll hit done. And we have pretty much what we're familiar with. For those of you that haven't seen the Moto 360, I need to set this up first. So it says swipe up to get started. Try again. It's showing you how to use the card interface that's on the watch. So we can swipe this way for more information. Okay. Got it. And it helps you along as you're doing more and more. So you can swipe to dismiss. Now you can see here to dim the screen, you do this and sensing your whole hand, just like you do with the Apple watch. Actually, it senses your whole hand that way. Everything's set up with the watch and we can use it now. And it's just showing us a few things we can do with the watch saying, okay, Google, agenda. Okay. Google set an alarm. Okay. Google set a reminder and sorry if I tripped any of your phones uh, into that. Hopefully I didn't, but you can see we've got the options here to pair with a new wearable. We've also got the tutorial we can watch again. We have all the same options basically here as we do on Android. So this is really nice. I'm glad they did this. And this is probably going to help a lot of people out that wanted to try and see if they like a wearable, but didn't want to spend the money on an Apple watch. And maybe they could use this and they'll like it more. I know I do like some of the card interface a little bit more than I do for the Apple watch. I think it makes a little more sense from day to day use. So I definitely think it's worth checking out. It's a free app. So be sure to check it out. If you've got an Android wear device and an iPhone and you switch back and forth or anything like that, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Are you going to go pick up an Android wear watch now? Or are you just going to hold out for another Apple watch when they lower the price or whatever they're going to do with that? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like, as always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.